How's it going? How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. I know what you're thinking. Yes, the jacket was cheap. It's from the Kevin Bacon and Footloose collection. So. Right, where are all my graduating seniors at? Where's No one over here. That's parents and shit, okay. But you guys all graduated. Y'all excited? Yeah. yeah. Good to hear. I'm excited too. I can't believe when seniors tell me that like they're sad that they're graduating. Like really? Like my mom says, like, aren't you sad that you're graduating? I'm like, sad that I'm graduating? What? Columbia for the past three and a half years has been nothing more than an inconvenience to me. <laughs> <laughs> like first semester, I, I was like, okay, this is chill, you know, devil dogs. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. And then like spring 2016, I was like, all right, this UC pasta is crunchy. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, even tonight, kind of an inconvenience. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's good to be here and all, but uh, I had an, I had a chance to audition for a commercial uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, but the shoot date was tonight. So I decided, hmm, should I uh, go make 500 bucks potentially and boost my career a little bit, or should I come here and disappoint my peers? <laughs> And boy, if you know me, if I get a chance to disappoint my peers, I will take it. <laughs> but uh, it, no, it, it's great to be here, uh, to be part of the Senior Showcase. Uh, tonight is all about, you know, what the seniors have been learning for the past four years, how we've grown and all that. So to show how I've grown uh, as a comedian over the past four years at Columbia, I'm going to share some material that I wrote three years ago. <laughs> if it ain't broke, you know? So, who here has ever been in an airplane? Alright, so I, I hate flying. I hate flying so much. Um, I, I buy the Wi-Fi on every plane that I go on, just in case I have to send some goodbye texts, you know? If you go through my bank account, it's like constant $8 charges to Southwest, you know, buying the Wi-Fi. Uh, what really doesn't calm my nerves is when the pilot comes on and does his little bits, his little tight five, you know? <laughs> like, one time he came on, he was talking about the flotation device under the seat, and he was like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this flotation device under your seat, just in case your favorite airline becomes your favorite cruise line. And everyone's like, ha ha, very nice. So I'm shaking in my seat about to shit myself, and he does a couple more jokes, you know, and uh, none of them really uh, go over well. And finally the pilot comes on and he's like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, if these jokes don't land, neither do we. And we're all like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I got stopped at, uh, at uh, TSA, at TSA, with TSA, by, I don't know. I got stopped by the security people. Uh, I put my bag through and it went off, you know. And uh, the guy says to me, uh, is there anything in this bag that can hurt me? And I was like, I mean, if I try hard enough. <laughs> I got a stick of Old Spice in there I could beat you over the fucking head with. <laughs> but one thing Columbia did not uh, really uh, teach me is how to end bits, so I will now be going to the next one. <laughs> Boy, you know what really, you know what really ticks me off? Why do people say half of a dozen? Just say six. <laughs> Do you know how much breath you can save by just saying six instead of half of a dozen? Let's count to half of a dozen. Six. <laughs> Do not even get me started on people that say a baker's dozen. Someone will come up and say, hi, can I get a baker's dozen? I say, you mean 13? You piece of shit. A baker's <laughs> dozen. 13. <laughs> I'll leave y'all with this. Um, <laughs> something, you know, Columbia uh, definitely helps you uh, teach you uh, about yourself a lot. Uh, things that you want to do. I don't even want to be a comedian anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the parents in the audience, your money is well spent. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but Columbia definitely teaches you uh, how to become your own self. It, it, uh, you learn stuff. Uh, something that I uh, didn't really learn about myself, but affirmed about myself, not to get political or anything, uh, is that I'm pro-choice. Anyone else in the crowd pro-choice? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think if you want to choose to be gay, that's totally up to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my time, everybody. I'm talking about it.